It is a foggy, drizzly morning, and we're in Pembroke. And specifically, it is Saturday. I wonder what significance that has. So for those unaware, Great Western Railway offers a special twice a week, Saturday only, summer only, service to Pembroke Dock. And uh, yeah, we're here to ride it. Hopefully it should be fun. We're going to try and ride all four <laughs> of the services, their back, their back, and see how they are. Also checking off a few stations in the, the Pembrokeshire area in the, in the meantime. Exactly. <laughs> So funnily enough, what we're about to see is my first ever train ride in South Wales, west of Cardiff. <laughs> and it's not even Transport Wales, it's with the Great Western Railway Service. <laughs> it feels so stupid. Of all the units too, 800-001. Perfect. <laughs> Does it feel uh, slightly bizarre being here on, a, on an IET yeah, of all things? Yeah, considering this is like... Yeah. I'm used to these on the East Coast Main Line with like LNER and TPE, but and in Wales, we're in like deep Wales, this is so odd. So the terminus of this service, Pembroke Dock, it's just one stop down. It'll only be a few minutes. But then once this train gets to Pembroke Dock, stay there for about, I think it's about 15 or so minutes. Yeah, about that. Something like that. Turns around forms the first of the two services towards London from Pembroke Dock. All right, well, here we are at Pembroke Dock. We've made it, so uh, we're just going to get out of the train for a bit while, the, uh, while they just lock the train while the driver changes ends. And, uh, yeah, once they open it back up, we'll be getting back on. All right, here we are. Let's uh, go the other way. So, second GWR service. Um, we're going to Saunders Foot. It's Saunders like 42 Fort, yeah. minutes, surprisingly. It's not like it doesn't seem like that long. minutes seems <laughs> quite long, but yeah. I guess they have a lot of slow sections on this line, so makes sense. The reason we have to go so slow between Pembroke Dock and Pembroke is because there is a level crossing that doesn't have like barriers or warning alarm bells or anything. So as a result, the train has to go through at five miles an hour. This is Manor Beer. It's actually Manor Beer, I'm pretty sure, not Manor Beer. <laughs> but yeah, so Manor Beer, um, sort of time-wise about halfway to Saunders Foot now. Somewhat unsurprisingly to me, there's a lot of people waiting at Tenby Station for this train. Tenby seems to be uh, quite a popular destination, probably for holiday makers and stuff, so... Alright, Saunders Foot. Now, as much as I would love to stay and admire the place, uh, we have to do a fairly brisk walk to Kilgetty Station now. So it's about half an hour to Kilgetty. It's actually not that far, so it's not going to be too horrendous of a walk for this. Just stumbled across a bus stop. Interested to see what the timetables are like here. And apparently, at least for the, the 381 service, it goes from Haverford West to Saundersfoot, I suppose. Yeah, hourly buses from around nine till six. Not terrible, not terrible for a place like this. I'll take it. Oh, crikey, national speed limit on a pavementless road. Ah, oh, yes, I know this all too well. Oh, hey, it's the railway line. Wow. Hey, Nick, guess what this road's called? Is it possibly called Station Road? How did you guess? Okay, Kilgetty. Great. Apparently this station's actually a request stop. I, uh, well, for the Transport yeah. Wales service, this the train calls on request. There's a lot of people here for, considering it's meant to be a request stop. Yeah, I, I was actually unaware that there were actually any request stops here, so I'm, I'm glad I've now been made aware of that. Kilgetty. <laughs> Significantly uh, busier on this service, given that we have 
well, two cars instead of five. Funnily yeah. enough, I don't know whether anyone saw one, but this is also 197-001. So yeah. we've been on a 201 trains. Somehow. So we are taking this train to Tenby. It's a fairly short hop. And yeah, we'll be uh, having a bit of a while there. Gosh, Tenby really, really is a popular station. Practically the whole train got off here. Okay, I'm beginning to understand why Tenby is quite popular for people to go to now. It just doesn't even really look like Britain. It's... it's tremendous. Chips in a pub. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> what an unexpectedly beautiful town. Just happened to have come across. <laughs> Recommend Tenby, it's great. We have returned to Tenby Station, so time to also return to Great Western Railway. Our third out of four Great Western Railway services on the Welsh Pembroke Dock Line today. look a whole lot nicer when it's not uh, cloudy and foggy like I can actually I can actually see stuff now anyway so next station up on the plan is Manabir Manabir so uh, once again we can't really linger because now um, we're going to walk to Lamfe 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 I forget exactly how it's pronounced um, but yeah we're gonna to have to walk there now. One hour 40 to do a one hour 40 walk. Hope it goes well. It's become significantly warmer now that the uh, sun has been able to come out. It's, uh, yeah, quite noticeably different. Oh yeah, nice. What a view. Wow. We did actually have the option of getting another route that would take about one hour 20 to get between the two stations. Um, but we did opt for this one because the road was allegedly less busy. And given how many cars I've seen here, I'm glad, since this is the less busy one, I'm glad we didn't do the busy one. Well, the, the other route had an A road on with no footpath. So I, my assumption an A road would be a lot busier than this yeah. little country road that is just about big enough for two cars to fit by. Manabir Newton, I believe, is not actually the same as Manabir. I believe they're two sort of separate villages. We've made it to the village. God, oh, legs, so close. legs are aching from that. God. There's like a, a church, hotel and spa, there's a palace, all in this little village. Finally, finally, we've made it. The oh. station, at long last. <laughs> So here we are at Lamphy now, but the slightly different thing with the GWR services here is that only one of them, one way towards London Paddington, calls at this station per week. Only one of them, just single train to London Paddington. It seems to be with the request stops, because I think Lamphy as well normally is a request stop, but I think any service that the GWR services call at um, they all, they're all principal stations, none of them stop on request. Um, I mean, Nat's theory is the fact that because the five car IETs are too long, you know, for the guards to reasonably come and walk down to take requests, and that makes sense. It's mad that a tiny village like that Theoretically, you can get a direct train to London Paddington from. <laughs> it's crazy. Everywhere's got services to London. So our final GWR journey will be to Penafley Station. I believe we're just around the corner from Penafley now. Ah, I think we're pulling into it right now. It seems only the three middle coaches of this train 
can actually uh, open here because, well, the platform's too short. And finally, here at Pinacli, in the uh, lovely, beautiful, tiny waiting shelter, we've now visited, well, not visited, but written, rather, on all four GWR services. Yes. Pembroke Dock of the week. How cool. So, thank you very much for watching, and, uh, yeah, I'd recommend you do this, it's quite fun. <laughs> and I will uh, see you next time. Goodbye. Bye. And of course, a massive shout out to all my patrons and channel members who are listed on screen now. Thank you all so much for supporting the channel.